I think an overall theme I would say for Point of Grace has always been God has not forgotten us. So we realized there were a lot of like really old, like 1800s like carols that we hadn't actually ever recorded. And so we decided to do a really like carol heavy record. What is it that you are wanting to say this Christmas season to your audience? The fact that this season for a lot of people is joyous, but, but it's also very fearful. Each song is its own art piece, musically, but also message-wise. Well, Shelly and I went to a little Baptist school in Arkansas called Washita Baptist University, and um, that is where we met. We were music majors there. One night in a dorm room, just we're trying to decide what we're gonna do for a summer. Why don't we just go out and sing? We can kind of be a specialty group for our college at different camps. And a year and a half later, we met a guy at Word Records, and so we've been doing music for 25 years now. With every record, we're going through a new season of change as we've gotten older. There's some seasons where maybe we were going through more of a difficult time and I can look at some of those songs and go, boy, those were really um, heavy, deep lyrics. The hardest part that I can remember of our Point of Grace journey was when Heather retired. Yeah, that's what I was um, gonna say. Do we try to find somebody to replace her? At that point, we were probably 15 years, or you know, like 18 years worth of a group of being a quartet. The core ingredients musically and otherwise are, are here. And so mm -hmm. we trusted that advice. We made it into such a bigger decision, just, you know, hindsight is 2020. <laughs> but at the time it was like life or death. Yeah. You know, like what, if we do the wrong thing, like we're over. I just kind of laugh now and I go, I mean, the best thing is we only have to split our money three, <laughs> three ways now. We have to split it four ways. <laughs> so is that. <laughs> so now we're really rich. Right. <laughs> just kidding.